In this lecture, we will cover the speed of sound waves written in terms of the Newton's formula and also written in terms of Laplace's correction. We have derived in the previous lecture that the speed of sound wave can be written as B upon rho, where B is the bulk modulus of the medium in which the sound wave is traveling and we also know V is equal to omega upon K and we also have seen in the previous lecture that displacement at any point is shown as sine omega t minus kx and pressure variation this is pressure variation not pressure this is per pressure variation this is maximum pressure variation is written as cos omega t minus kx and it is important to note that they are out of phase by pi by 2 so when this is 0 this is maximum and this is maximum this is 0 and this is I again repeat is pressure variation not the pressure and the wave is traveling with compression and these are two compressions this is the third compression the wave is traveling like this compression and this is the rarefaction area and the wavelength I'm just repeating basic thing this is the wavelength of the wave and k is the wave number which is 2 pi upon lambda and wave velocity I have shown is omega upon k. These are the basic things based on which I am going to start. Now we have derived that this speed of sound which is a longitudinal wave in any medium depends on the bulk modulus and on the density of the medium. Now Newton presumed that when this is moving let us take an element delta x when this is moving in a medium in terms of wave compression and rarefaction so he assumed that the temperature remains constant so pv we know is nrt so if temperature is constant pv is constant so if we write pv as constant we will write delta p v plus delta v p is constant so we can write delta p times v is equal to minus delta v times p so we can write as we know the bulk mod modulus is delta p upon minus delta v upon v so let us write delta p in terms of delta v upon v delta p upon minus delta v upon v becomes p so we can write B as P with the Newton's formula. So we get the speed of sound when Newton's formula is applied as P upon rho. But when this formula was applied, it was found that at STP, the speed of sound comes as 280, which was less than 332 is the actual value of the sound speed of sound at standard temperature and pressure. But with this formula, it is coming at 280. So there is some problem with this formula so Laplace corrected it and he suggested that the compression and rarefaction they happen in such small intervals that this volume which we are dealing with doesn't get time to exchange heat with the surroundings so it's an adiabatic batic process and we know for adiabatic process PV raised to power gamma is constant now let us differentiate this so we get delta p v raised to power gamma plus gamma v raised to power gamma upon v i can write it like this instead of writing as gamma minus 1 into delta v into p as 0 now we can remove this from here that gets cancelled so I can write as delta P upon delta V upon V into minus is gamma P and we know that the bulk modulus is delta P upon minus delta V upon V so bulk modulus is to be replaced by gamma p and not by p so with the laplace correction the velocity of sound wave comes as gamma p upon rho so this is the laplace correction this is the newton's formula